So at least three times a week, someone will ask me how to engrave clear glass or clear acrylic with a diode laser. And the short answer is you don't because diode lasers don't work with clear materials. But the real answer is you can. And there's a number of videos out there that'll show you how, and this one will also show you how, but I'm gonna show you a, a few different methods and a couple of different tips and tricks. So rather than just give you a simple answer, I'm gonna make you learn something, so stick around. How's it going everybody? Steve here and welcome back to the shop. Now, as I mentioned, I am tired of answering the question on how to engrave clear materials with a diode laser because everybody knows it doesn't work, uh, you know, it can never be done, but the reality is it can. There's a number of ways you can treat clear materials to make them work. I'll show you at least four and uh, also a couple of different tips that will help you uh, make better engraving. Now, I'm gonna focus on acrylic, but everything I say here will also work with glass. If you're, if you're doing glass, I use the same exact techniques for glass. So uh, behind me, I have almost everything I need. I have a lighted base and a bunch of uh, clear acrylic samples that I cut out previously, and uh, we can use those. Now we will need a couple of extra materials that I'll show you as we go, and that's enough to get started. So let's get going and we'll start with the simplest method. Before we get started, we need a, a project, of course, and I'm gonna try something really simple here. It's just text, just literally says sample. And the outline is the outline of these pieces of acrylic I have, which I cut out and it's 80 millimeters across and uh, 45 millimeters uh, of height. Now from a power perspective, I'll actually go a little bit faster. I'll go 1800 millimeters per minute and uh, power is really low here, 30% uh, we'll, we'll use. Now, depending on the material, again, you may have to go higher or lower glass. You don't want to go too high because uh, the glass will actually break or you'll get a lot more uh, uh, fracturing in the glass and it's just a lot more to clean up. You really just want the very top surface touch so you don't have to engrave halfway through the material here. So. Uh, those are the settings and those are the ones I'll use for everything here and uh, we'll see what it looks like. The first technique I'm going to use here is one that's really common and that's to use paint to coat one side of the clear material. Now you'll see all kinds of videos on YouTube around this. Some will go into more detail, some will go into less detail. Uh, I'll lean towards the latter because really at the end of the day we're painting a piece of material, letting the paint dry and then engraving on it. So there isn't a lot of rocket science here. And some people will use uh, different kinds of paint. You'll see people using uh, flat black spray paint, shiny black spray paint. In my case, I'm gonna use uh, this praying paint, uh, tempera paint, and you can get this stuff. I'll put a link to, to Amazon down below if you wanna get it there and help out the channel, but you can get this at any arts and crafts store. It is dirt cheap. That I, I have a gigantic bottle that I paid, I think $7 for. So. It isn't expensive and it's easy to apply. Most importantly, unlike spray paints, this will wash off with water. So clean up after you do the engraving is really simple. And uh, so all I do is dab on a good thick layer. Uh, some people will, will put thinner layers on and do multiple coats. I don't bother because honestly, we're working with lasers. It'll chew through uh, a pretty thick layer of paint anyway. Um, my interest is making sure that there's no streaks and uh, you know, just so that they're, the engraving is, is consistent across the whole surface. Method number two, I'm gonna take a piece of black cardstock and I'm gonna put it behind the acrylic. Now, what that really means is the image will be on the back, uh, on the back surface. And if you care about that and you really want the image on the front surface, then what you'll have to do with this method is remember to reverse the image left to right because when you turn it over, it'll be backwards otherwise. Uh, I didn't bother here, uh, but uh, you know, keep that in mind. You may do an engraving and then realize everything is backwards. So uh, we'll do this method for the second method and we'll move on to method three. So sticking with the engraving on the back, uh, method number three is going to be to take uh, one of these metal business cards and you can see this one is black and we'll put that behind. And, and the hope here is that you get a lot less soot because the paint layer on this business card is really thin. Now, you can also, if you don't have a black metal card, you can also just use tempera paint and paint this. 
and, and then use that underneath. That has the added advantage of being able to reuse it over and over again. So whereas this, you use it and when all this surface is gone, then you throw the card away. So uh, what I tend to do when I use this method is I will start with this and then when it gets worn down, I'll, I'll just start painting with tempura paint. And we'll see how that one works for the third method. So I've looked at three different methods so far and the results will vary and we'll take a look at them. Uh, but I got one more method here and hopefully it's a secret weapon, we'll find out, and it's this. This is a water slide material. So you cut a piece of this the size you need, and you soak it in water, and then you can peel this black layer off and stick it onto your material that you're trying to engrave and engrave on it just like we did with the paint. And uh, the results will hopefully be better. Now this, this particular material, happened to come from Xtool and I happen to be using an Xtool laser, but this material is available online and I'll put a, an affiliate link in the description down below if you wanna buy some. And uh, I've used it before, it works pretty well and it's certainly easy to use, the cleanup is trivial and that's the important thing. So uh, I'll put this on a piece of material and I'll do an engraving and we'll see what it looks like. So I set up a simple light base and I'm going to put each of the samples in one by one and I'll start with the painted one and you can see it, the sample word is very bright and uh, it was very simple to do. Uh, the next one is the, uh, the cardstock. Again, not too bad, not quite as good and it was actually fairly difficult to get it clean. Uh, third sample is the metal business card and that one came out exceptionally bright. Uh, probably have to reduce the power. And the final one here is the uh, Xtool film. And it didn't come out nearly as well. You can barely see the word. And you can see the surface of the material there is quite scratched. And that's because I had to do a lot of scrubbing to get that film back off again, uh, even though I soaked it in water. So not as ideal, I would say. Now, just for fun, I also did the same test on glass because if you're doing clear material with a diode laser, you're eventually gonna get to glass and uh, what I did was uh, d just did these same tests and put them all on a single piece of material. And you can see I started with the paint and again, it came out very, very nicely. That film decal stuff did not work really well at all. It was inside the engraving. Uh, cardstock was, was better here than it was on acrylic, but not quite as good as the paint. And finally, the paint on a business card on the back of the glass, that one came out very, very well again. So, and cleanup on that one was trivial. It was literally wipe it with uh, a quick wipe with a paper towel and, and it was ready to go. So there you have the two results uh, with four different techniques and you can choose which one is best. Now for my liking, I like the actual, uh, you know, painting a business card with tempura paint and putting it behind the clear material you're working with. That one seems to work the best for me. Uh, your mileage may vary, so uh, try all four of these out and see how you like them. So we'll wind down here. I, I showed you four different techniques. First one was tempura paint, which many, many people use, and, and the results are actually pretty good. A little harder to clean up. Uh, my favorite, the uh, paint on a business card behind the material, and uh, also cardstock, which worked not as good on acrylic, but worked really well on glass. And finally, the, that, that uh, black film, that water slide film that you can put on top of a material, uh, that one didn't work nearly as well. And I, I guess I could just try it with more power and see if it has any difference. Uh, the advantage of that one, the sole advantage is uh, you can put it on round things and put it in a rotary. Now you can do the same thing with paint. Uh, but you couldn't do, say, the business card or cardstock methods. So uh, anyway, give them a try and, and hopefully you got a little value out of this video. There's a few techniques here you probably haven't seen anywhere else. Uh, they're, you know, they, up until now, they were kind of my internal secrets for, for doing clear acrylic with and clear glass with, uh, with a diode laser, but, uh, you know, try them out. Uh, anyway, we'll wind down here. I'll put a couple of videos up on top and go watch those and I'll see you over there and get out there, make your world and I'll see you next time.